Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Jim Craig from Soil Clothing Company. Uh, this morning, we want to do a short training film on the proper techniques for measuring a soldier or airman to submit to the factory that will enable us to manufacture a coat or trousers or slacks or skirts that's going to fit your customer uh, properly when we get it manufactured and ship it back to you. And one thing we want to do is, is take, uh, take the mystique out of measuring. It's really a simple process. Uh, you, you're probably going to be nervous, or maybe even a little intimidated sometimes, but uh, just remember that what you're trying to do is write down a set of measurements that's going to enable our designer to make a pattern that will give us the finished product that's going to fit your customer. And we're using the AFIS custom measurement form. We've got one for the men. And then when we measure our lady, we'll use it. And if you would just fill in all the information, even if you think it's unimportant, uh, of course, the store name and all that information you're going to put on there. But then when you get to the measurements themselves, the first thing you want to get from your customer is their height and their weight. That's very important because our designer will look at the height and weight and then compare that to the measurements that you take and he will be able to see if there's any areas that need to be questioned. Uh, if you're asking for a coat that's uh, too long based on the person's height, then we can come back to you and say, would you remeasure this customer one more time because we think the measurements are a little off. So once you get their height and weight, uh, the next measurement that you want to take is across the shoulder. And folks, this is probably the most important measurement of all of them. And to get this measurement done properly, uh, go over, just stand it easy, Captain. And this is Captain... Um, Captain Mitchell. Captain Mitchell. And he is from Fort McClellan, and he has graciously uh, volunteered to come down and be our subject this morning, and we certainly appreciate it. So put the tape over the captain's shoulders, and you want to put the tape where it comes over the fullest part of his arm. And you, as you can see, he's a bodybuilder. And you want to take the tape, don't pull it tight, but just pull it snug, and then you want to be able to put your hand down in the inside of the tape, making sure that the tape is level across his shoulders for the fullest part of the shoulder and the captain measures 53 inches. Again, this is the most important measurement. Write that down and then go to the chest. And when you take the chest measurement, you want to go up under the arms, now just let your arms hang down again, and over the fullest part of his chest Again, making sure the tape is nice and level in the back. And again, be able to put your hand down inside the tape. And he's a 46 in his chest. What did I say the over shoulder was? 40 or 53? 53. 46 and 53, that's a 7 inch drop, which is just about what it should be between over the shoulder and his chest. Then, the next measurement you need is the waist. The natural waistline, again, snug, but not tight. Be able to put your hand in there, and he's a 36 inch waist. Is that about right? That's about right. All right. <laughs> now, on this measurement form, there's a place for across the shoulder, or point to point. Now, that's from Shoulder seam to shoulder seam. Just right across the shoulders, and the captain is 21 inches, which is just about what it should be. Now, this is really not an important measurement. And if you leave it off, it's not going to affect us at all. But you, if you want to make sure you fill in all the, the blocks, again, 
shoulder seam to shoulder seam. Now, if you can, three pictures, three steel pictures would be of great value to us. A frontal view with the uh, captain standing at, at ease with his arms down natural. A shot from the back and then if he would turn sideways and a side view. Those three pictures will again give the designer an idea of what your customer looks like. And remember, we don't have the benefit of standing in front of them and measuring them. So anything that you can do to help the designer see exactly the body that he's trying to make the coat for will be of great value. Now, if the captain was special measuring trousers, and a lot of these guys that are bodybuilders, they've got these big old thighs and an awful rack pair of pants just does not fit them. So if he's special ordering trousers, you want the waist measurement, which we just did. Then you want a hip measurement, which you want to go across the fullest part of the back side, making sure you've got his wallet and all that out before you take the measurement. Then you want to take his thigh measurement, but only if he's a bodybuilder and he tells you that he can't normally wear an off the rack pair of pants. And then when you do that, just get that old thigh around the biggest part of the thigh. Again, pull the tape snug, be able to put your fingers in there. And basically, that's the extent of measuring a male person. Across the shoulders, the chest, the waist, and one last measurement. And Kevin, if you just turn around, sir, and we'll have you back. I'm going to put a coat on the captain to show the back measurement that we need. And if you've got a try on sample coat, by all means put that on there or on your customer and tell us what that size is. The back measurement is very important because I see a lot of customers, a lot of soldiers walking around that the coat is either too long or too short. To make sure that we get the right length coat, take your tape measure and measure from the bottom of the collar where that under collar material joins the coat from there down to the bottom of the buttock or when your customer is standing naturally now this sleeve is too long obviously but if the captain is standing natural that coat should fall right in the palm of his hand and that coat is just a little too long for the captain, he probably needs a short. But let's, let's measure and see what that, what that tells us. Sometimes they might slap you because they may think you're getting a little fresh, but you know, people taking measurements is sort of like a doctor. The captain needs a 31 inch coat, which is a regular, and when you get that 31 inch coat, that coat will fit in the palm of his hand there, the natural turn up of his hand without any wrinkling like you see there. That's just slightly too long. Another thing you notice on this coat, there's some horizontal lines across his shoulder. That tells you that the coat's a little too tight. This is a size 44 regular that we have on him. So he really needs, if he was buying something off the rack, he would need a 45, and then the waist would have to be taken in. Okay, Captain. I think that's, uh, that's everything that we need. And I certainly appreciate you, you doing this for us. No problem.